Today we're going to look at five essential items you need to create luxury ice cream in your home ice cream machine. Yeah, so ice cream is all about science. It's not just to throw this and that in to a pot and hope for the best. But there are some things that you should have at home in your kitchen, in your pantry, or wherever it might be to really help you create the best ice cream you can. So today, let's go through those five essential items that you need. The first one is skimmed milk powder. Depending on whereabouts in the world you are, this can be called zero fat milk powder, ultra low fat milk powder. This is not whole milk powder. Whole milk powder has a really weird taste. And when you put it in ice cream, it changes the flavor of whatever it is. So skim milk powder, which is basically zero taste outside of that of milk is essential because what it does, it increases the solids of your ice cream base and mimics what commercial ice cream makers do when they pasteurize. When you pasteurize, you increase the temperature, allows evaporation, which then increases your solids. That is what that does. You can get this from anywhere. Your supermarkets in the UK, you can get this from Sainsbury's, Tesco's, Aldi, Lidl, whatever. In Canada, you can get this in real Canadian superstore. You can get this in Safeways, Walmart. Actually, my local Walmart hasn't had it for ages, but you can literally, you can literally get this anywhere. The next essential item you'll need is some kind of invert sugar. Now that could either be corn syrup. If you're one of those people that hates using corn syrup, then you can get straight glucose syrup. You could use honey. You could use maple syrup or designated invert sugar. All of these are essentially very, very similar in what they do. Invert sugar creates a unique texture and mouthfeel in ice cream that is basically impossible to mimic without using it. So use one of those in the same numbers that my recipes tell you to and you'll be good. The third essential item you need for luxury ice cream making is dextrose. This is also called corn sugar in North America. It can also be called brewer's sugar in the UK and Europe. I think you can also call it brewer's sugar in the US as well. It's the same thing. All of these names, it's the same thing. Dextrose will reduce the freezing point. So you could have an ice cream that is really easy to scoop straight out of the freezer. This is essential if you want to take your Ninja Creamy recipes up a level. Even more so with the Ninja Swirl, because if you make a really hard ice cream, it's going to struggle to come out of there. Now, if you create an ice cream that spins really nicely, it will come out of your Ninja Swirl much more appropriately. So, dextrose, corn sugar. You cannot buy this in supermarkets. You have to go to, you can buy it on Amazon. You can buy it in brewery shops, winemaking shops, anything like this. There's four or five winemaking businesses in Calgary, so that's where I go and get that. It comes in larger bags, usually about two kilos in size, so that two kilo bag is super cheap, but it will last you probably an entire year. The next essential item is some kind of thermometer, something to read temperature. Whether that is a candy thermometer, a laser thermometer, a sugar thermometer specifically, whatever, doesn't make any difference. You need to make sure that your ice cream base temperature is correct when you're cooking it off. If you're just guessing when it starts to create steam, so evaporation starts to happen, that happens at around 55 degrees centigrade all the way up to boiling point and beyond. So there is no way to determine what your temperature is without the means to measure it. Amazon, 10 bucks, perfect. Get yourself one of these. The final essential item you need for ice cream is scales. Now, obviously a lot of my viewers are in the US. So, hi. 
you guys love your cups that's what you've become accustomed to using over the years there are some things that it just doesn't work for some things will let's just look at flour for instance you can pack flour into a cup and it weighs different than if you don't pack it or if you just pack it slightly less these things have a really critical impact on your ice cream if you use cups so if you really want to go that next level start weighing your ingredients baking as a whole uh, and that encompasses you know like ice cream and scientific based recipes you need scales to measure those out there's no way you're going to use teaspoons to really accurately measure out a stabilizer if that's something that you use so obviously these scales are way too big for a stabilizer so if you are going to use a stabilizer then i recommend you get a little set of these these are sometimes called jeweler scales or micro scales amazon less than ten dollars and that will really help you take your ice cream right up to the next level the final thing this isn't essential this is a special mention is stabilizers stabilizers have got a bad rap over the years because of how they've been used they've been misused by bulk manufacturers to create some really weird products but ultimately you can get gua gum which is processed from beans from the gua tree it's really clean it's about as clean label stabilizer as you're gonna get and it will really help create longevity so you go through all the effort of making your delicious luxury ice cream and it just doesn't last looking at those with the ninja creamies the ninja swirls start looking at something like gua gum it will really really help your ice cream texture over a period of time there's nothing worse than i mean there are lots of things worse but in the world of ice cream there's nothing worse than going into the freezer and taking a tub out and it's just started turning to ice after a few days that is a, a a pretty crappy recipe but b the likelihood is there isn't a stabilizer in there add that stabilizer and that ice cream will be perfect for weeks and weeks and weeks all it does is absorb water that is all it does okay doesn't do anything crazy it doesn't break scientific law it just absorbs water that ice that gets created is just excess water that hasn't been dealt with the stabilizer just absorbs that and keeps it in a matrix within your ice cream so a super easy nice video five essential items you need for luxury ice cream making at home i am gonna start changing the way i make my videos for youtube I am going to start reducing the length, much less chat, and I'm gonna be putting scientific explanations on Patreon and for YouTube members as well. So if you are interested in the science of ice cream, become a YouTube member or head over to Patreon. There are links in the description. There are links at the end of the video, and you can ask me any questions you have related to my YouTube videos. But other than that, I will see you next week when we get back to making ice cream.